This could be the future of farming. With a touch of a screen, staff at TAFE Queensland's Toowoomba campus can control things like water, light and nutrients. So there's a little tablet, you can run the entire farm there. Uh, you get alerts every time something's not quite right. Indoor farming is still a young industry in Australia, but recent floods and the uncertainties of climate change are driving increased interest. On the Gold Coast, a massive warehouse could produce 400 tonnes of lettuce annually from mid next year. And we're seeing a lot of interest from a, a lot of key supply chain right across the country to, to really explore and understand this, this new age farming, a new way of farming. Farmers are also seeing the benefits of what's called protected cropping structures. Destructive floods in the Lockyer Valley wiped out crops in the field and led to a surge in lettuce prices. But in this greenhouse, workers barely stop picking vegetables. The product is of good quality. Um, we don't struggle um, with pests and diseases as much um, inside the tunnel. Um, I think we've sprayed inside maybe once. Data is still being collected on the number of vertical farms and protected cropping structures across Australia. But industry groups say it's growing by about 7% each year. Here at Barton Farms, they've seen the value of the system and are planning to build two new greenhouses worth $3 million early next year. Queensland scientists are also looking at what else is possible with indoor farming. If you think of mangoes, mango have in Queensland are just produced for a few months, then now we could eventually have mango for the entire year. Exploring new frontiers in agriculture. David Chen, ABC News.